In today's episode, let's check out Balaji Ambron Premium Flora Bhatti. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense quotient. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. So last uh, last Tuesday there was no episode guys because I tried uploading it but because of the power failure, the major, uh, you know, we had a major, uh, I think it was a side effect of the tropical cyclone, of the cyclone that's going on in the, in the Bay of Bengal somewhere. So we had a massive power failure we do not have internet so i could not upload the episode but on friday i did appeal uh, you know upload that episode which i think most of you missed so if you might you know you might just want to go and check out that episode you'll find it in the end screen as well as in the description somewhere so you might just want to check out that uh, you know episode as well so today what we have is bimal ambron it's premium flora bhatti so this is what the uh, you know the pack looks like and this also was sent to me by uh, Kuldeep ji as the part of incense exchange. So this is from him. Thank you Kuldeep ji. So this is Bimal Ambron Premium Flora Bhatti. And it has a very nice, you know, flower kind of illustration that's there on the white background. It says Bimal. And I tried looking up this incense on uh, their website. I couldn't find it. So you might just want to Google this and, you know, find it wherever it's available so these days i think I, I find it easier to check it on google than you know to go to the individual websites because sometimes these websites are a pain to deal with i mean then it's so difficult to get what you want there most of the time they will not list the price they'll they'll you know you just look keep looking about uh, you know around it so i think it's better you go to google and find out what the incense is like so uh so it this is this white pack with uh, you know a flower kind of illustration there on one side uh, both the sides is the same it's the same on both the sides and on one side we have umbron flora written in three languages so hindi english and i guess it's it's gujarati i'm not very sure it's make in india so this is what we have and on the other side we have uh, is the directions or uh, you know caution and directions it says bimal agarbatti works the logo of it is there and see the the website is bimalincense.com i'll be linking and you, i'll be giving the description i'll be giving the name of this incense in the description box you might just want to check this but you can check it on google you can try your local pansari store in case he has it and this is 50 grams of incense for 110 rupees so this is what we have on both the openings is just umbron written there this is what we have and this is premium flora bhatti inside we have a butter paper it's a simple butter paper pouch like this it's not branded it's just like that so this is what we have inside the main pack the incense that we have is a normal non nine inch incense and uh, it's that you know it has that masala on top and in fact in, even in the pack there's a lot of masala so you might just want to be careful while opening the back and it has this uh, beige bamboo cord so this is what we have it's nice and strong and you know like most masala incenses they have this uh, they have an abstract kind of fragrance which is like more traditional and more it gives you a feeling of a temple so this is like that kind of a fragrance but it has a at the top note the very prominent top note is of uh, it gives me a feeling of a combination of jungle and moss you know if you ever smelt a jungle and if you've you've come across a moss you know a mass of moss that green thing that covers the walls during the um during monsoon so that's the kind of feeling i get it but there's a sweetness to it which is like in most of the masala incense so there's a sweetness to it and a slight wooden note as well so that's what we have and so overall it's a pleasant fragrance now let's light this up and check out the diffusion of it let's see how how well it diffuses and how long it stays in the space so let's check that out so we have a lot of smoke here as you can see
so that sacred smell that that typical sacred smell that a masala incense has is quite prominent now and that jungle like and moss like fragrance that was there in the top note is missing here actually it's not missing it's it's it has gone in the base somewhere it's very 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 subtle and uh, but it's there it's there in the base so we get that the hint of wood is still there and the sweetness that was there in the top note is missing in the in the lit up incense so and you have subtle you know subtle nuances that that's unfolding very very slowly but overall if you see it's it's a nice mild kind of fragrance it's not very strong it's not very in your face kind of strength and even though the fragrance is quite prominent as in you will be able to feel the presence of it once you come to a room where this is lit up and okay so that jungle like uh, fragrance is becoming prominent now as the incense is you know uh, taking its journey yes yeah, so that 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 jungle thing is becoming prominent now that wooden lost is that that wooden note is lost in the base somewhere but still it is that nice uh, masala fragrance however i i am not really very uh, you know i i am not very fond of this doesn't seem like a really nice incense you know fragrance wise to me that's what this is so so i would like to give it a star rating of 2 and so this is a 9 inch incense and uh, it's going to be there for around 40 45 minutes or probably an hour or so because these are hand rolled incenses you can make out from the make of it and um, sometimes the masala on it is enough you know so it can last beyond 45 minutes as well so that's the kind of incense this is and uh, so the retention of it is around two to three hours and the diffusion of this is in my entire house so that's the kind of diffusion and retention that this uh, fragrance has also if you light it up at a regular space you know every day that day that 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 space is going to have a fragrance which is really going to remind you of this so this is that, that that's the kind of fragrance this is and i can say that because you know mostly at my main door i always light up an incense and uh, so if i am using an incense for a period of time that space is going to have that fragrance so it's going to be the same for this incense as well like most of the incenses and so if you like that kind of uh, feeling if you like that kind of subtle fragrance which is like nice masala fragrance sacred kind of traditional fragrance with a hint of uh, that jungle thing so you might want to take this you find this somewhere just google this and i'll give the the description in the description box i'll be giving the url of the you know the incense so that's about ambron bimal ambron flora Bhatti. so that's bimal ambron flora Bhatti. so in the last episode which most of you missed and which you might want to go and check out now the quiz that was there is uh, you know what is the usage of the smoke that we get from palo santo and sage so these are the two uh, you know incense very famous incense ingredients uh, sage is was mostly used by the native americans now of course it's been used by everybody palo santo is something from we, that we get from uh, you know uh, south america so palo santo if we know is a kind of uh, it's the wood that we get from the you know it, when once the tree is dead and fallen you know it is harvested for this incense for this wood which is then used for the uh, you know healing purposes and for therapies and stuff and sage is a bush which is now almost you know it's endangered and because of course it has been used for so long and it was never replenished so however you know in india also there is an indian sage where people have started growing sage in india i'm not sure i've never used them so i really can't say anything about it i don't know what the quality of it is like and how different is it from the you know the traditional sage so but we do have uh, you know because probably like like sandalwood they are trying to you know get it 
from other places also where they can grow it sustainably so we have now sage from india also but palo santo is still from only from south america so the one major difference in the the usage of the smoke that we get from sage and palo santo is that sage is used for a space for and for stuff you know so it's like used for things and space but palo santo is mostly used for humans so if you have to cleanse yourself or smudge yourself your body or somebody you know a proper human body or a pet then that is where we use palo santo but sage is when we want to cleanse a space when we want to smudge a space and uh, a very interesting use of sage is that when we want to get rid of a spirit that has been held between two worlds we use sage for that the sage smoke is considered very very effective and in, in you know helping us get rid of that spirit that kind of spirit which is trapped between the two worlds so that is the difference between sage and palo santo now the, the quiz for today is what is the one use of khas besides in incense so let's just let me know about that and check out the description box for the description of uh, very many incense related products and also for the uh, you know the url of this incense and um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know if you agree with whatever i have said in the video if you disagree with it if you liked it give it a like if you think somebody can learn something from this and if you enjoyed it you might want to share this with your friends and family and till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste